and welcome to, uh, you, you want to know what procrastination looks like? It is, uh, getting your collector's editions, like, three months ago, and then not opening it f until, like, the downtime, and then editing it all together in the downtime, and uploading it before the downtime, so, uh, yeah, I, I've just kind of had this here for, um, three months, and then I was like, I don't want to pull out the, you know, like, fucking nicking the thing already. Uh, I, I should have got a knife and... And I says, I want to be cancelled by YouTube or whatever, you know? Um, also, I need to be like, oh, I can't just hide behind, like, oh, this was uploaded, um... This was uploaded five years ago. I appreciate the feedback about how terrible I am, but I can't fix it. No, this is literally the day of, and I think some of my friends are going to actually watch this. So, uh, hello, friends. I hope the final shape is good. If it's not, woof. There might be a problem there. <laughs> I mean, the main reason I bought this <clears throat> was, one, um, this is the first time that a Destiny expansion has come out while I was, like, employed with my, uh, nuclear job, so I can, you know, I could actually afford this this time. And two, it has a tower, and basically the same thing as, like, Final Shape is just, like, hey, uh, this is, like, uh, you know, I've been playing this since, like, House of Wolves, so, what, 2015? So... If it, I think if it was anything else, like, just gonna leave that there. I like how the bottom is like light, and the top is like the resonance and all that stuff, and you can see like patterns in there. I know it. it I know it's not. I mean, I know you can see it, right? I don't know. So this is normally my like Lego table, so. I apologize if this is a little scuffed, because, you know, this is top-down, but it is what it is. Also, I have not seen what's in this. I mean, obviously, I know what's in it because of this, but... I'm honestly half expecting to open this and just see a bunch of battery acid, because I know this thing has, like, lithium battery warnings on it. is stuck on should I have not opened it this way come on the answer is yes All right Hey, it's the tower everyone thought was going to get fixed and into the light and wasn't fixed. So we have this. I'm going to... You're not going to be able to see it very much because I have to read it. <coughs> also, it's a damn good thing I remember how to read cursive, huh? Thanks, fourth grade. <coughs> Guardian. <coughs> I've traveled much recently looking for records that might... I apologize for, like, you know, I haven't talked that much today, I guess, so I'm still, like, you know, having issues, I guess. Hi, Guardian, I have uh, traveled much recently looking for records that might shed more light on our foe. This is the best way I can help you, uh, lacking significant combat expertise. I've compiled and attached my findings on the collapse, the witness, and the many related disasters and extirpations that befell other civilizations in their time. To defeat your enemy, you must first know it, after all. Uh, so few records have survived the witnesses' attacks. I have done all I can to find what remains. With this, may you aim to be sharp and your hands be true. 
When the Elixir fled Rees during the whirlwind, my people had only themselves to rely on. Catch his kin, as the saying goes, and kin are all. Uh, to be uh, together is to survive. I am enclosed the token of the last city's friendship as a reminder that you two have such kin. <clears throat> there are a few other little odds and ends as well. I have gotten a bit carried away. I understand you must press forward in lonely unknown places. So let the warmth of our other hearts keep you company there. Safe regards, Ido, scribe of the House of Light. I'm going to be very careful. But I mean, I'm just going to put it in like a pile to my left. Okay. We have a little journal. We have a little autograph book. And then we have our main course. <clears throat> so we have Zavala. I'm going to put these under the box, but... We have uh, Ikora. Yeah. And then Cade's dead. I mean, it, it doesn't feel that solid, but that's obviously because it's not solid, so. I'm a little worried about what this is supposed to connect to. Is this not supposed to have Kate in it? Okay, this might need to be charged. Also, where, yeah, where, where the hell's Cade? Oh. We'll get to that later. Is Kate not supposed to be here? Hang on. Did I did I throw him away? Is that maybe the idea? <clears throat> I'm gonna briefly check the stuff. Basically, <clears throat> if you're interested to know how I record these, is basically I uh, put together like three different stands and I kind of like uh, just shove them together and like tie them together. And they <coughs> basically put like a, a stable platform um, that like my table is away from. And that basically means like, you know, when I'm doing Lego and all that stuff, I can like shake the table and it doesn't shake the camera very much.
Collectio Autographorum. <laughs> Is that actually uh, uh, Latin? You know what's going to be kind of sad? Is looking at this and then seeing how many people have been fired. You know? To the people of soul with hope. There's a maze here and I don't like that. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I am going to read this whole thing. This is going to be uh, an adventure. Dear Guardian, warmest <coughs> greetings. I found this book while on a trip to the Tower Bazaar. The cover first caught my attention and while I frequently keep my records digitally, I thought it might be nice to um, press botanical uh, souvenirs. Uh, when I inquired about its making, the proprietor additionally explained the concept of guest and autograph books. Collections of personal impressions to say, I was here. As well as, oh, uh, don't, I was here, me, Bungie, please. Um, as well as to record uh, noteworthy uh, comings and goings and, or unexpected encounters, I kept the book for a little while, always meaning to use it, and found it again among the things during my most recent research expedition. Again, why do I feel like you take this apart and... Yeah, because there's a little start arrow here. I don't like that. The secret to the raid is in there, I swear. Um, <clears throat> such a book I suddenly thought uh, could be invaluable as a record for, of the city. Not just to the <coughs> historians of the future, but also to you here and now. The people of the system, your kin, among the great catch of soul. So many of them wish you to know... That you are not alone in your fight. We are with you until the end. May these messages lift your spirits and carry you onward, Ida. Um, some will say... <coughs> oh, you can actually tell that it's different people. <coughs> some will say it's frivolous to keep organizing festivals as the future darkens. As the traveler leaves their sky, surely there are more important things to focus on. But I always say it is the little joys that keep us going. The rhythms of the year then give us things to look forward to. Here's to the day when the Guardian um, games are the most serious thing you must face. With gratitude, Eva. From one Guardian to another, uh, hang in there, friend. I'll see you star side. Ideally, ideally when there's a Hunter Vanguard again. Ramos. Is Ramos the guy on like the um, Tommy's Matchbook? Because I know the thing was like, hey, by the way, you need to, like, come up with a Hunter's Vanguard soon because, like, we can't keep doing this. Several of the house like children as assigned their names. They wish you well. That's adorable. It's, um, like, kids from the House of Light. You can tell because it's, like, it's, you know, X and all that stuff. Airs is a... Lovely idea. This is Guardian. We don't know each other, but I know of you well enough. Who doesn't? Hope this makes it to you on a day when you could uh, use a brightening. Uh, know that all of us are doing what we can here on Earth, uh, or on Mars, or in the Senate Plane, or you know what I mean. And dinner's only when you get back if you want it. Druis. Okay. Hey. Go ahead, get him. Uh, gonna... You got this, Guardian. Stay strong and never give up. We believe in you. Yeah, uh, as the lady once said, kick him where it hurts. Your light is strong. Keep it up. You got this. Good luck. We love you, Guardian. We're with you, Guardian. Go get him, Guardian. See you, star side, Guardian. There's one weapon you can always count on, and it's your strong hand. You're amazing. From Lewis. From Lewis. What's his name? You already know pretty much everything I would say, Guardian. Give them hell. The city and the people beyond it have you back. Also, I love how this is like an actual photograph. I'm not going to pull this out because I feel like it, it kind of feels like it's a sticky thing. But at the same time, no, it is literally taped in there. 
So. <clears throat> now this is a story. So I don't know how well you can see things, but like. Now this is a story. I found an old Earth artifact, a Polaroid camera. Does she call it a Polaroid or Pol... No, she calls it a Polar Void camera. Uh, it didn't work at first, of course. Uh, Cryptarch Rahul found some antique diagrams that helped us identify the broken parts. The exact chemical composition of the required film wasn't wholly clear. But look what happened. I met a ghost who had been studying ancient human artifacts while looking for her guardian partner. She advised on the broken parts and shared some records uh, she previously discovered about light sensitivity in silver halides, and I was able to get the camera to work. This picture did not turn out quite as I had hoped, but it was the first one I took, so I wanted to share it with you. I, th I think I damaged a little bit. Oh. Say hello to the traveler for us. Actually, bus, I mean me. I write down everything you'll uh, find. I have a lot of glimmer running on the answers. Peach. Okay, I'm I'm going to be honest. I don't like Archie because he stole my triumph <coughs> six weeks ago. So, this is from Archie. He sniffed the page for a very long time. I wonder what rings he was taking. Again, I, it's a joke that I don't like Archie. Maybe a little bit more than don't like, but... um. Oh, hey, it's Finch. Pick the witness right in his face for me, all right? It's many, many faces. You've got this collaborator. Oh, look, it's Fenchurch. Uh, all the places you go, you ought to start asking you to source rare artifacts. Oh, you know, Tess Ever. Um, uh, you cannot travel safely. If you cannot travel safely, travel bravely, Garden Fenchurch. Uh, stay ahead of the pack, Guardian. They can't uh, catch you if you don't let them. Area do Eris? Uh, wait, is that Eris? Uh, I don't know. Uh, in my quest, I contacted teachers and historians of the last sitting who invited me to visit the class. All the human children were very sweet. I'm going to sign their names for you as well. So I'm assuming that they went to... Oh, this is a pop-up thing. I'm assuming then that this is like they went to like a local school that was like next to the office. And had kids draw a bunch of uh, stuff. Hello. Um. I can't believe uh, Eris beat me to this. Faster Garden, we'll catch up to you. Gris. I don't know. Marcus Wren. Yeah, can you bring back SRL, please? <coughs> I'm writing a new play, uh, you know, uh, but I need more inspiration out there and here. Um, then hear it up, and I'll write the best scene about your adventure. Uh, I'll even write a bit of, a bit part for you. Diddy, renowned playwright of The Last City. Among the licks of The Last City, there is a very aged weaver. I do not know his story, and my father will not tell me. Wait, is this the one that, like, uh, Lakshmi, like, fucked with, I think? Who was like, hey, I know you, you killed a lot of people. And he's like, no, I don't want to do that. Or I don't want to think about that. Uh, although, I was perhaps this is because he himself does not know. This Weaver, I do not like him very much. Although, of course, the rule of scribe is outside of personal preferences. I felt I had to ask him for his knowledge, you see, in case... Scribble, there are many left to remember... There are not many left to remember the world when... He's not willing to share much of Reese, so there is nothing to include in the other document of the witness. To prepare for you, but there is something else. Guardian, there is no way that I can offer. Once I would have said there was no hope. Even more now, the great machine has risen from the city's orbit. But you still try, that is hope even to the last. These grow wherever you may. they may find root. The dandelions. I don't know when this happened. I must have left the book open. Uh, did you know cats are everywhere? Such clever creatures. I understand I write this to the Guardian who so frequently keeps company with the Vanguard. Our commanders can forget, but it is the breath and lungs that keeps the legs moving. Remember to rest now and then, Guardian. Best, Chalco Young. 
Hidden agents use this page. We see you. Here's truly. I did not. Um, I did not begin this. I think they view it now as a kind of game. You'll be surprised if more is added while you aren't looking. NACL. Salt. Yeah. Um. Again, I'm. That's an alchemical symbol, isn't it? Is that so? Eh. There's a lot of alchemical symbols in here with hidden stuff. If you need a backup call in the six coyotes, a hunter for every occasion. Theron, yeah. Clarification to my esteemed colleague. Uh, um, a note. Do not call on us for every anything related to a vanguard dare. But for the fate of the world, that that is much easier. Best of luck, Nadia. Oh, is this like the six coyotes, I guess? Yeah. Um, I don't know my lore very much. Uh, clarification, clarification. If the Vanguard dare not being fulfilled means the end of the universe, the Succeeders may be able to assist. Uh, I nominate Micah. You know, she's busy. Exactly, too busy to know it's being appointed. By well guarding, you're not alone, the six coyotes. Look, I'm not a hunter, so. Um, comrades are found in unexpected places and come in surprising shapes. Be bold, Micah 10. Shark, beta, ghost, flower, Santa, center, ghost, <clears throat> differential calculus. Oh, it's that, them three. Uh, can you believe this image that I found? Someone from the farm gave me a copy. <coughs> it's taken during the Red War when the farm was a base of operations. Yeah, I was there. I remember. I'm told that time period was similarly dire, but looking at the Vanguard together, uniting the cause, gives me hope. As they persevered, so shall we. Then yeah. We wish you the best against those who have taken too much from us or all. Return safely. Hey, it's a spicy ramen thing. Oh, this is Ghost and Tommy. This is, uh... I don't know. We already gave away our best gun. Oh, yeah, Tommy's matchbook. I'm gonna come back alive, Guardian, and you can have the next best one. If you can find us. Uh, direct from the spicy ramen shop to you. These coupons don't expire, so come back and use them anytime. Heroes welcome. More of these in the packet. And yeah, it's the coupon. Which I'm pretty sure I kept that coupon. I don't know, go check the 3,000 episodes that exist that haven't been uploaded. Uh, run run fast, <clears throat> fight hard, and don't look back, Guardian. I have a host of people wanting to race you when you get back. I is that... I is SRL confirmed? We can only hope. All of us to think of you from the newest light to the eldest. All the best, Shah Han. Uh, everyone's favorite guardian. Uh, Valdun, Troll, Rulur, Shotor, Brakas Gazat, Thorg, Trog, um, Rook, Garax, Verun. I had the fortune of encountering some of Lord Saladin, Valis Forge's Iron War Beast while I was traveling and researching. Some of them might have signed once I explained. But this book was simply too small. The only one who could leave their own mark was their actual war beast. Uh, Valis Varge was convinced to write out their names in their stead. See, that's a war beast paw. Guardian, I understand you know our true enemy, and so, um, to fight it. <clears throat> and I do not believe. Oh, it's Arnor. I do not believe in luck, but I wish you strength and light, and a firm stance against that which hunts in the darkness. Queen's Guard. Uh, you carry the hopes of the reef as well. Our thoughts go with you. Kamar, Rio, Leona, Brill, and Devi Castle. Make it pay. Return victorious. Vilya, Shirochi, and Kali. Guardian, if I could go with you, know that I would. Uh, it is a great weight of hope you carry. May the light provide as it ever has. Mizrax, Kelv, Light, House Light. I'm sure if I kept asking, there would be more, but I wanted to get this wrapped up and shipped off to you as soon as possible. I would buoys your spirits, Guardian. I have some pages blank then for you to add your own memories to. I hope you return triumphant and find more allies and friends to fill those pages. And I'm actually tearing up a little bit, because I'm thinking, you know what would be great? If, like, you know, my fire team that we did, like, you, you guys, if we did, you know, that we did the Godslayer and stuff like 
with to get, like, your guys' signatures. Obviously, that's not gonna happen, because I am, like, an extreme homebody, basically, so... But just know it is an honor. How the hell do I close this? I don't know. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is not a skill I have. Parchment paper. Oh, yeah, that's why I have tweezers. Is this the, for the puzzle for the tower? I don't know, man. I'm kind of not looking forward to that because, again, I haven't looked anything up. <clears throat> also, I guess, yeah, I have a stack of coupons for y'all. And then we have the Vanguard patch. This is, yeah, this reminds me of the Boy Scout patches that we would have. This is kind of the point in it. And then Flair, we have um, the code. Obviously, um, I'm going to redeem this before I upload this, so. So we have this. <clears throat> and so this is a um, lore book. Entelechy. Type per... <clears throat> oh. uh, type personal communications. One's in draft retrieve from winter ship Simix Fell. Uh, is that the ship that's on Venus? That's just kind of like there in winter, next to Winter's Run. Uh, data bank E seven six I nine P. Origin HD two one nine one three four. Unidentified ship. Tetrahedral structure. Derelict, heavily damaged, different place. Keywords: Gardner, final shape. H N W zero four seven six two two. Identities: H N W zero four seven six two two. Annotated transcription follows. I arrived at the garden to be to find barren rock, as lifeless as the expanse around it, just as the survey said. It's perfect. Rather, it will be perfect. The moment I laid eyes on the allotted system, I knew my initial plans had to go. How elegant they were, those drafts drawn up in smiling ignorance. <coughs> um, only experience <coughs> had cured me of such short-sightedness. Yes, now I can see the path to the summit pyramidian final shape. Here are the uh oh, here are the metroda blade leaves. There are the green glass uh, ice body blossoms arcing overhead. I had brought enough progenitor material to seed a hundred worlds. Never mind five. In time, there will be a great harvest of panacea, which has a asterisk, which. Appears to be a general term used to refer to organic material with medicinal properties. Uh, from this garden, I'm sure both you and your merciful penitent benefic will be pleased. 
A group or organization of some sort mentions of the group uh, across various records, such as Minister of Scientists and Doctors. Uh, I uh, could cover these bare rocks as greenhouses, of course. Our rows of neat enclosures, lights in just the right spectrum. Growth solutions mix at just the right proportions. Microclimate domes uh, calibrated within a fraction of a degree. Very neat, very efficient, very, very boring. After all, that would just be a reflection trade imitation of system R-3TN-PLRMA, wouldn't it? And you know I've never had any interest in recreating other people's designs. So just between you and me, here's a little secret. The panacea progenitors weren't all I brought with me. Yeah, I can hear you scolding me now, but there's so much space in the cargo hold, and to be frank, you're not here to disapprove. Besides, if you could see this allotment as, uh, uh, well, yeah, allotment as I do, <coughs> the potential written in the cracks and crevices of every rock, feel the heart song of their molten cores, you would understand. But you won't need to take my word for it. By the time you can bear to leave work long enough to come visit, my garden will take a root and grow strong. How lovely it will be to sit together and listen to the wind whistling through the bows. Perhaps even you will smile. Oh, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. Before any of this can happen, I'll need to prepare. I've unfurled the pergola to capture what I need to weave each planet's atmosphere. The pergola's sail is so vast I must cross my ship from vertex to vertex um, to see around the sparkling cloth. It's exhilarating. I've wielded the gardener's tools before. Got another title for the great machine, Trail the Traveler. But never at, the scale, at such scale. It feels unfair, honestly. You led the development of such marvels, and yet you were leaps away unaware to... Unable to see the culmination of your hard work. I know you claim it doesn't matter to you... As long as you know your work is being put to good use, but still permit me this idle fancy. At this rate, I shouldn't take more than a few centuries before I have enough substrate to work with, and then... Wait just as I can see and see the summit pyramid in final shape for yourself, won't you? HNW047622. So I know that there is a race called like the Precursors, and that's the race that basically got like mulched into the witness. An identification code associated with this individual need to cross reference. <coughs> and then more stuff from Wintership. Where, where the hell did they find this? An identification ship, tetralogy of scripture, heavily damaged, crystalline storage media, gardener, HNW047622. Uh, preserved in resin. 5,908 Asphodelia stem cuttings panacea. 7,734 Verut whole leaf cuttings soil enrichment. 7,869 Isbody root cuttings panacea. 9,405 Senol bulbs uh, decorative. Shell trees omitted for brevity. Cold storage. 14,401 Lystridite seeds decorative. 17,092 Audrey seeds decorative. 18,734 Metroda seeds, soil enrichment, I mean it for reverie, equipment, one pergola for atmospheric weaving on loan, four replacement sails in case of damage, three crèches for initial abiogenesis. Is that life from nothing? <coughs> Eight abiogenic solution canisters, six cauldrons for elemental synthesis, 3,965 fundamental particles of uh, vacuum tubes, I mean it for brevity, ends. How many of these are there? 38. Oh boy. Um. <clears throat> I began my search with the familiar during the long drift. Uh, peaceful encounters between catches were rare, even when they hailed from the same house. When such means did occur, they would exchange valuable resources, including data. This practice helped the Lixie navigate the vast and dangerous void to know who might open fire, which areas had already been stuck resources. These data exchanges leave traces, and even if the relevant entries are later overwritten, Scribe can track these traces to a source, especially Scribe who grew up with the hum of a server. I comb the data banks of our light ships uh, for any mention of the witness and follow these paths as they fork through dozens of catches. In a single mention of records recovered from a tetrahedral ship. We'll track down these transcripts. They're buried in the databanks of a decommissioned house winter catch, the Simics Fell. Apparently, ship's generator is quite an adventure. <coughs> I shall have to tell it to you another time. Um, according to Simics Fell's collection logs, the transcribed records were originally found aboard a derelict ship encountered Croat during a long drift. So, she had selling to suggest that they are similar but not identical to the Minus Fleet of Pyramid ships. An older design, perhaps, the ship was ancient beyond reckoning and was barely damaged. and abandoned <coughs> when the data crystals were intact enough to be decrypted.
It's a shame that some Excel did not bring along any physical crystals. I'm sure the Crypto Key would have liked to have a look. Uh, these are the oldest of all the records I have found by an order of magnitude. When they were originally penned, the species that would go on to become the Ecumeny had not even emerged from primordial ooze. So wait, how the fuck? How how old are the f Elixir then? Because the Ecumene are like the. I know. So Ecumene are from the Book of Sorrow, and they're one of the like light races that fought against orcs. I don't remember if they were the ones that almost won, and that made Oryx, like, kill, I think, Akka, and get the taken- Look, my, my lore knowledge is very fractured from just, like, bits and memories I remember from, like, years ago, when I would, like, listen to Bife, and then I would kind of, like, put stuff together in my head. It's not the way to do stuff, but, like, you know. It can mean you merged, um... <clears throat> The findings are not conclusive. Only the documents were created by the witnesses' precursors, which revered the great machine as a gardener. See uh, Rep. Seven Seven Six. Asa uh, witness. Uh, though they were hardly the only civilization to use a similar title, other elements suggest a possible connection. Touch with the structure of the derelict, where this cover was uh, recovered, be mention of a concept roughly translated as final shape. <laughs> and one last note. <clears throat> of interest in the collection log about the star system. Where the derelict was encountered. Uh, every planet in the system showed large scale damage from crude explosives. No signs of life were found. So I guess they blew it. They blew it up. I don't know. Um. <clears throat> uh, type communications log from rain ship Talix Sin databank. Yeah. Uh, long range communications buoy derelict scrap for parts. Uh, we mustn't abandon the... So we have, I guess, figure one and figure two. I want to call them. Which... 47622... Was the one from before. We mustn't abandon the path to the final shape simply because it is difficult. Asterix. Uh, the final shape is no longer described with a ternary semantic cluster. Scribe archive... Zai248, but HNW and RS continue to use the structure to describe other concepts. Potentially reflective of semantic narrowing. This has been in the past to the final shape simply because it's difficult, so I guess they're figuring out what their final shape is. Difficult. You are being willfully obtuse. Difficult might describe the sustained effort or self denial. You know what? <clears throat> this might be easier. I'm going to say, like, this is HNW and this is RS. So, hey, Brunskin. So just whatever one I'm holding is going to be who's speaking. You are being willfully obtuse. Difficult might describe the sustained effort or self-denial done with intent and care for one's own one milling. Describing is coercion. A moment's coercion to prevent a milling is suffering. We can see what will happen if we sit idly by. So this is, I guess, the idea for the witness to block suffering or whatever. We'll see what happen if we sit alley by. If we choose to do nothing and our action will allow this carnage to continue, then we are complicit. Thus, the ethical choices to act. At what cost, but with what means, would you advocate the use of violence? <coughs> will you approve the murder of those who disagree? Will you, in your merciful penitent benefit, cause lesser harm for greater good? No, never. The purpose by which means are in, and the means are inseparable. It's simple uh, teleology. We are not advocating for needless cruelty. There are countless methods of intervention at our disposal, with compassion as a guiding pillar. A transition, upload, lifting, enlightenment would be uncomfortable, naturally. We'll turn and sit idly by and watch the inevitable inspection of a species, an extinction we could prevent. If final shape truly is the greatest good imaginable, then its rightness should be self-evident. Uh, it should be so clear... Sorry... To be so clear to anyone and anything that comprehends it that we should never need to do more than share the information for them to reach the same conclusion. That we have failed to do so even among the consensus. Okay, that's another. In the terminology, this consensus might have been some sort of governing body or source of philosophical guidance. <laughs> Suggests imperfections in our own understanding. If we cannot prove an apodictal, I'm guessing that's like true final shape, even to each other, to our own kin whom we strive to understand as well as ourselves, and how can we possibly declare it fit to teach to others? 
What good is perfection if it is purely theoretical? All concepts are refined through practice if we focus on ourselves to the exclusion of all this. If we use to help others and thereby pursue our perfect happiness, cause of uh, their internal pain, and uh, what do we call that if not selfishness? Humility. Acceptance of our own limited perspective. Indifference to suffering. I'm not indifferent. I gladly endure pain if doing so would help others. It is different matter entirely to force it upon someone else, even for the sake of another. Improperly healed bone must be rebroken before it can be set properly. An infected wound must be lanced, and do you abstain from uprooting weeds when they threaten to strangle your garden? If some suffering is inevitable, then surely it is better to seek the maximum good from it. If the choice is between greater and lesser evils, and the choice itself is flawed, I refuse to participate. I agree with you in theory, but we do not exist purely in the theoretical. This suffering is already happening now all the time everywhere we look. Come see me, and I will see, show you the observatory's readings. Such sights as we have seen, my friend, make me sick to my soul. <clears throat> I'm honestly making some connections between Endwalker and this. I, the only person who will know is Nox. I don't actually know because I'm still in Shadowbringers, but... Um, the whole thing, like, we must end suffering, and the greatest good is to, like, kill everyone, basically. Um, <clears throat> I thought the Observatory could see, only see possibilities. The future branches of past visible light readings. We have made improvements to the glass mines. From the context, some sort of computational assistant. There appears to be some etymological overlap with the names of Vex mines. Something to investigate later, perhaps. Yeah, maybe next week or next season. Uh, tr trim the excess branches. What we see now are the strongest paths. In the scene, they become true. Then tell me what you have seen. I gain nothing from running from the truth, no matter how uncomfortable. Cities turning themselves in frenzy self-defection. Destruction. What the hell did I say? Uh, children offering up parents uh, in superstitious sacrifice to bloody gods. Tired people who would boil off their own atmosphere rather than let their neighbors enjoy fresh air. Great waves drowning worlds. Bodies which do not decompose for everything done to the very bacteria has died as well. Machine plagues carving their prediction machines into moon moons. Your garden destroyed as observatories saw it, so it came to pass. Apologies, I was, I was unkind. I was wrong to bring up old hurts. As you say, sometimes an infected wound must be lanced before it can heal. Should not be ashamed of your physician's instinct. So that would be like the bomb things that it was like all the plants were destroyed. I have mediated any words. I sat in my uh, ship, keeping company with the pain I felt when I saw my worlds burning. Terrible loss. You will prevent such a thing from happening again. You've always wished to protect others from harm, and I honor that. But I've reached a different conclusion from you. As I saw the ruin of my great work, my thoughts traced a different path. If a shape is the greatest good, then it must be enduring and controvertible self-fulfilling. Guarding could be destroyed suggests that it was not a final shape after all. The ship uh, which came to burn it down understood its final shape better than I. Are you suggesting the final shape of that system was its destruction, for it to be left a blasted ruin? It's not a possibility. Then what we have seen through the observatory might as well be the final shape too. Suffering, misery, anarchy, endless self-consuming hedonism, utter sterility. How can any of that be considered a greatest good? For the final shape is improvement. Consider the virus, my friend. The parasite, the predator. Those things exist only by taking from others. To these things, improvement may well entail causing greater and greater harm to others. Not out of malice, but as a simple fact of existence. When you eradicate an Ill illness, are you stamping out a microscopic final shape? Should we care less for the final shape of disease simply because it's smaller than us or because it does us harm? We have all studied our histories. We know what we are capable of, what we have done. What if the nihilist, redolent, accepting are right in a final shape of his own destruction? Are you seriously considering the words of a fringe group of self-flagellating pessimists? This is pure nihilistic indulgence, abdication of responsibility. The existence of past evil does not invalidate future good. Should we deny what we can do because of what we have done? We are, uh, we of the merciful penitent benefit have asked similar questions and reached our own answer. Survived unimaginable suffering even at one another's hands. The gardener encourages our growth and improvement day by day. Who better to understand the struggles of others and guide them out of the, um, those miserable warns into the light of day? We could help the whole universe to be better than they are. Such as we are always striving to do better tomorrow than we are today. We could help them and they will go to on to help others. The good we can do, we can, the good we do can compound just as the evil has in its past. And yet we, the first chosen of the gardener, cannot agree in our own way. The gardener offers us no guidance, no principles with which to use the gifts it gives us, no assurance for the doubts that plague us, no answer for our questions. Why have we been chosen? Why does the gardener, in its power and wisdom, not achieve perfection itself? 
If my garden was not meant to be destroyed, why did it not stop the invaders? And why does it allow its gifts to be misused? It did not correct the profusion bountiful swarm on their path to their great fatal error. Not stop the conqueror's primacy sovereign from using the gifts it granted for subjugation. Are we to accept that these two were meant to happen? If you reject the notion that destruction can be the final shape, how are we to accept that the gardener allowed us to make such good mistakes? As well as millennia, there is much we do not understand about the gardener. Perhaps or not, we will not understand it until we have achieved the final shape for ourselves. And when we have reached the final shape, will it all make sense? Will we be able to live in a universe where people act as they have always acted? For the self-evident good, where evil does not exist because we do not allow it? And where all are aligned without suffering it out? This isn't like you, my friend. I am coming to see you. All will be well. It's more, like more cuts and all that stuff. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to cross-check for that invocation code. Inscribe archive zi 24 a proved quite fruitful. The trail of data crumbs led me to a data bank retrieved from a rain ship originally down in Mercury. The saint and Osiris were kind enough to share it with me, along with a pot of tea. Our con hopefully not Nezirak tea. Our conversation was most illuminating. I understand that Mercury was a scorched wasteland before the Great Machine's arrival. When it finished, humans could walk unprotected on the surface. What wonders the Great Machine can work? I can only be that Mercury will return from the Witness's clutches, release his Titan was, so that I may uh, see it for myself. I heard that. I hear that. Thanks to Soul. No one's saying. One could study without pause, or at least until exa exhaustion proved greater than desire to learn, so I could catch up on some light reading. Get it? Because you know, because the sun would always be in. Is Mercury? Um. Like, I don't know what it is. Heliolocked? Let's just make up words. You know, where it's like tide locked, like the moon is? Is it tide? It's tide locked, right? Look. I'm dumb. In any case, the constant fellowship has worn many faces. Uh, from your encounters with the disciples of the witness, we know that all had their own understanding of this concept. They all saw what they wished to see in it. Uh, but this communication log here appears to predate all of them. If I'm correct, then this party is communicating among the witnesses' precursors, then this might be the concept's original form. We can see in this log that H and Y, W, and R S at least were preoccupied with the concept of a higher purpose. They sought the final shape. Um, yeah, I know this. Um, but at the time of this exchange, they did not agree on what it was or how to achieve it. R S speaks of how the final shape will prevent suffering. And maximizing benefit, H&W expresses concern over the methods of achieving this. No server, they will never speak of communicating directly with the species they discuss. No consideration or consulting of others, even if they are capable of reaching the final shape for themselves and others, the most pressing matter. Discussion is if they should or should not intervene. To a lesser extent, whether some coercion is acceptable for the greater good. I understand that, granted the blessings of the great machine, looks into many, both have fallen into similar traps. To so anyone's arrogance, uh, rightness, the arrogance, the belief that receiving the great machine's gifts confers superiority to others. Given the length of time between this record and scribe archive Xi 24A, it appears the great machine stayed with their civilization for millennia. If it's in reads for that long, if humanity's golden age should continue unending, would we also have fallen victim to the same mentality? Lost sight of others as equals and seen them as animals to be herded, I think I prefer where we have come to stand together, along the same streets beneath the shadow of the great machine. And welcome back. <coughs> So I took a break, so it should be a little bit better. We're a third of the way through. Range of transmission retrieved from Sire's collection. Long range communications beacon disabled. Unknown witness annotation description followed. So I've actually seen this about like what the final what, what the witness wants with us. I learned of its arrival scarcely three marks ago. As my anchor slumbered in the belly of this ancient outpost, <clears throat> I drifted into a new sphere webbing. It has a, uh, it's an intersect symbol, I think it is? I've seen this symbol before. I think the U is a union, and the upside down U is an intersection. Um, <coughs> and was swept up in delight. Millions of thought forms sharing the news, the revelation. Sweating from leading to trailing edge, till even I was buoyed by the tide of joy. First contact with a stranger, friend to be. Uh, a chance for the hazy marches of a new sphere to grow, to encounter new <laughs> and thoughts and expand with new richness. Uh, it had been so long since we encountered the whisper, nightmare, predatory, meanplex. 
Yeah, memes. I remember, like, memes, like, ideas or whatever. A self-reinforcing group of informational units, which subsumes lesser concepts. Predatory idea, the Noasis seem to have used this term to describe any serious threats to their minds. First um, usage appears to refer to a past threat, which the Noasis survived. Um, <clears throat> we grown naive without the reminder of fear. From the leading edge came a current, it swept through a new sphere, a spark in dry brush, ink, and water. Hope curdling in an instant. The emanations were confused and fragmentary, I could not parse them all. Planet stolen from space, ripe, flute, uh, ripe fruit plucked from orbit, structures dissected and reassembled by thousand fingers' hands. Anchors and cells unraveled into first principles, uh, section into wafer thin slices. Uh, the images of the witness attacks on the Traveler and what it did to the Coalition ships is fresh in my mind, as I'm sure it is in yours. There was only one voice at first, a cry of joy, the meaning of a new mind, uh, twisted to fear and pain. Help me. Chaos in the newosphere, the placid uh, surface churned into white froth. Thought forms are scattering to the thousands, fleeing up the webbing strands and finding doom at every junction. Help me. The stranger, ruin, predatory meanplex, engulfed our nose here in a moment's idle fancy. Our thought forms were atomic in comparison, we never stood a chance. As each of my people were found and taken apart and reassembled, a new voice joined the chorus. Help me. My people died in their thousands, thoughts and cells wisping away into nothingness. Thousands of years of memory, no more than smoke in the wind. Help me. Here in this outpost, I am apart from the rest, tethered at the trailing edge. Furthest from its lamprey maw, not far enough to escape, not near enough to help. Help me. Thousand emanations from a thousand minds blending into a single scream. The same scream every time. Again and again and again and again. When we untethered ourselves from the anchors, <coughs> we knew that we as a people would not be divided again. No matter how far we travel in real space, the vastness of our noosphere, webbing home, was but a thought away. Our fears, our hopes, our dreams, our longings, our triumphs. We would always be able to reach out and know one another. Where one was weak, another could be strong. We uh, would share each other's joy and... Bear each other's pain, but that sound, but that, that sound, help me. Shame to admit that I could not bear it a moment longer. I severed, exiled, imprisoned myself. I regretted it the moment I did. We were dying, but we were dying together. My unimaginable cowardice will not assure my survival, only a delay my execution. The ruin, predatory memeplex, witness, knows the pattern of our oscillations. The witness appeared as a highly intrusive foreign concept in the transmission, which is able to cannibalize all overlapping concepts. So, like, just the idea of the witness just, like, deleted any other names for it. Um, I can hear it still plucking the tattered edges of the newest here webbing. Why do you hide? An intrusive foreign concept that leads to the witness itself, communicating directly to the reporter. The witness will find me. When it does, there will be nothing, no one. I believe I would die alone in some an outpost, but I found a crate forgotten deep within a dusty storeroom. Virtually beacons produced and stored in another time. One where we knew the fear of death. We see you. Uh, to you, receiver, inheritor, hope for the future, I offer what little I know. We are dead, but not unmade. We are ossified, temporized, uh, reiterated, perpetuated, anonymized, finalized. So I think that's the idea that nothing's actually dead. Everything that's like cut apart is still alive. Um, uh, significant semantic overlap here. I believe the total blended concept is related to the final shape. <clears throat> I don't know if this help. I do not know. I do not. But perhaps you will prevail. Come now, don't be afraid. It's not a call for help. It is too late. There is no one left. The witness cannot be stopped. This is our last proof. We, the Noesis, existed. And yeah, it's like intersecting words. I don't, I, I don't remember like the math. Ma I think it's supposed to be referencing the mathematical concept of intersections and unions. When two ideas are the same, that's an intersection. When two ideas are not the same, but they're joined together, that's a union, I think. Again, it's been a while. Like, I know, like, I, I do, I have used those um, things for like, one of the programs I use is has the unions and intersections, or at least that's how I was explained to me like some of the syntax for MCMP, but hmm. <laughs> Spire has quite many in <coughs> and items of interest over his lifespan. 
Now, precious few may be accessed freely, even in the best of times. The worst of times, on the other hand, they inspired some conditional generosity. Reluctant otherwise to request his assistance, information I've gleaned is more than paid dividends. Uh, that's something he would say. The contents of, uh, of this beacon proved quite challenging to transcribe. It seems to operate on a similar principle to your sensoriums, but it directly transmits concepts rather than inducing sensory hallucinations. Some of the concepts show significant semantic overlap, though whether due to the nature of the data, age-related degradation, or the recorder's emotional state, I cannot say. Now, from so, if everything's still alive, does that mean we can save everyone, technically? <coughs> from the content of this record, I believe we may draw a few conclusions about the witness's methodology. Give it says only mind and body, and some are reassembling them. Not destroy the nuisances, but unmade and then finalize them. Uh, curiously, um, the account describes a markedly different approach compared to similar recorded attacks. Conquest of the Noesis was swift, almost surgical, and remarkably thorough. The Noesis does not seem to have cultivated a disciple from among the number or left anyone who could tell the tale. Yet it did not simply massacre them, considering how the witness speaks to the Noesis who was recording, it is almost gentle. There is no comparable communication during the whirlwind. I reviewed all the information about the Noesis I could find and discovered this Noesis never encountered the Great Machine. Is it the presence or absence of the Great Machine which determines the witness's approach? Did the witness ever speak to humanity during the collapse? Did it offer comfort as it did to this doomed noesis? I need more information. Emergency broadcast sensorium, telemetry, cloud arc archives, deep storage, Neo Luna, uh, Neptune, Exo, End, so Indigo, Bank, Origin, Exodus, Yellow, blah blah blah, and you see Leon and S. Bonona. Keywords collapse, Black Fleet, Rasputin. Rest in peace. A real one right there. I don't know. I don't know. I like Rescue, and I'm just sad that they just killed him off. I'm still holding hope that there's going to be, like, some stuff where it's, like, at the very farthest reaches of his network that maybe, like, splintered during the collapse. There might be a way where it's, like, you know, they don't bring back Rasputin. I don't want them to bring back Rasputin. But be like, hey, we have enough kernel data and, um, Anastasia. I don't know. They shouldn't call her Anastasia, that's what Clovis calls her. That, like, Anna, because she's a guardian, would be able to live long enough <coughs> to, um, go and, um, basically be able to remake, like, remake him after, like, hundreds of years, you know, ba basically start over and recraft him. So. Mayday, mayday, mayday. All stations, this is Exodus Yellow, 25,000 souls aboard. We are under attack by unknown hostiles and sustaining heavy damage. Engines 1 through 6 are down, kinetic weaponry have been disabled, and we are transmitting in the blind. We have a possible sky shock event requesting. And the rockets is merged with resistance soaring telemetry from the Exodus Yellow's chief medical officer, Dr. C. Lee Young. An open medical data feed is displaying updates on the condition of the ship's officers. Several listed deceased, including the captain, may have moderate to severe injuries. All were located on the ship's bridge. Lady Liang is running through the corridor, connecting the ship's medical braid to the bridge. She's speaking rapidly in an open audio channel with command, um, Calm Officer Esbenoa. Okay. Liang Benoa. We're not a warship. No matter of the war mine. Not under Karaya White. We can't possibly have any working guns. Not after the last hit. What does this supposed to do? Wiggle our engine nozzles at that big ugly triangle? No. Exit is omitted. <clears throat> System warning, structural impact, pyramid docked. Not the time for pen penantry. How can you be so calm? Kinda have to be, don't I? Nobody else is in any shape to do anything. If we're in a courier white and we're speaking selling us, this is what we gotta do, then alternative must be worse. Worse than 20,000 dead colonists. Hold O and then expedive dock grab. The young witches violently and impacts the wall. His sensory did not. Leong Vanua. Um, oh, Vanua, what was that? Vanua, anyone? Static. Leong Rumbu. Okay, I came up this way. Uh, Leong resumes moving down the corridor. She exhales sharply and begins to speak to herself, recording with her sensorium. Okay, okay, status. Our systems, including communications, are on the fritz. We're limping on two engines. At least three quarters of the crew are wounded too badly to act. The captain's dead. We've got no guns. Whatever fighting doesn't kill us all, Rasputin will. This morning, mass growl, Phaedon strikes, uh, sterile neutrino scattering. Oh god, 
But oh god, what's that noise? Sounds a little groaning. Yang and Ridley stops and begins to back up. Some warning. Exodus yell, tensile strength exceeded. So it's like ripping the ship apart. <clears throat> or like pulling it apart. And Leon and support starts, uh, starts to begin to fracture. The floor ripples and the ceiling buckles. The ship Leong has just come from is not as strongly affected. Tension is released. The ship's structure snaps back into place. Leong falls hard but recovers. Apparently what they did to Titan as well. Again, there's a lot of fragmentary lore that I need to like actually read. Obviously, I'm not going to read the entirety of Destiny's like data stuff tonight. But like, you know, eventually and by eventually, because like, you know, five years ago I started that. So eventually I'll bring back Let's Read, I swear. Maybe I'll die before then. You never know. I could feel it in my teeth some kind of gravity wave. First being has gone mad. We can't hold position any longer. We'll die. We'll all die. And, and, and I was likely fight in uh, Dynamics Officer P9. There's one of the injured crew on the bridge. Uh, I just need to get an on up and she can get us out of here. The young one was moving forward. The ship's structure shows visible signs of strain. Two living stretch and deformed far beyond normal tolerances. Venona, Venona, I'm here. Leon reaches a bridge airlock. The door shows visible fractures, but opens when Leon applies force. Benona. Leon begins to wedge violently, backing away from the door. The bridge is covered with a layer of organic material and damaged flight suits. So presumably, the gravity, rays, ray, the gravity waves literally just pulled all of the people in the bridge, like, to, apart. To, like, goop. Good morning. Wars at preparing to fire. Hey, well, now we know how that looks like. It's a, it's a giant sleeper simulant. Still heaving, Leon clutches the door frame. She opens a wide range broadcast channel. All stations, all stations, stand down. We are in your line of fire. Good morning, warrants at firing. Please, this is Exodus Yell. 25,000 souls aboard. Exodus Yell, whole integrity, fatally compromised. Ship comes apart around the warsat's beams. Leon tumbles unprotected in vacuum. Young sensorium captures a gap in the debris field. The pyramid ship is completely unharmed. So yeah, this is what I don't necessarily get about like how we're supposed to fight the pyramid ships, because it's kind of just like that like kid who's like, no, I have like an infinite shield that blocks everything, right? Because that's kind of just what the pyramid ships do. They just sort of like, nah, you know, I don't feel like taking damage. Like I know there's some stuff that can hurt it, like just like the light, you know, the giant light laser beam. It's gonna be a weapon, so it's gonna be cool. It's quite difficult to find first ten accounts of the collapse. The humans who lived through it are long dead, and any contemporary exos have been rebooted several times since then, because otherwise they go insane. As I understand it, most data, even when encoded and protected in engrams, has degraded too badly to be recovered, especially under the post-collapse conditions on Earth. But I heard about Neptune, City New Muna, and the people who hid there during the collapse suspected they may have complete records. More complete records. Giant and Neptune was long and quiet, but the rumble of a ship's engine is familiar to me as any lullaby. It's a shame that there isn't any remote uplink to Neumuna's archives yet, but to be honest, I relish the chance to visit myself. The stories and images are pale mimicries of the city, the lights, the colors, the sounds. Presumably then Neumuna, or like most of Neumuna, is fine now. And just because with the death of Callus and the removal of the witnesses like I on Neumuna, it can go back to where it was before. Ever seen anything like it? It's not more than mere exaggeration. I mean that until now, the sediment of every civilization I've ever seen has been a ruin of its former self. That city is a marvel, a testament to humanity's survival and spirit. But even here, I can see the scars left by your collapse. Yumuna was marred by the war which landed in its midst, but still a vision. <coughs> could see the shape of your golden age in its skyline. I was greeted warmly by Scribe Lakari. How marvelous discovery of kindred spirit. She was quite helpful, and I shall have to return when I am able. Many have a tremendous amount of information in the Cloud Arc. I have even been able to share some of my own stories so they may be recorded for posterity. Together we were able to retrieve and repair several records that had been damaged either by Vex incursions or data degradation. And I have included the most relevant uh, record here. Well, subscribe Ligari asked me to tell you hello and to remind you that the Hall of Heroes is open to you whenever you may wish to visit. Her Hall of Protection performed an unusual motion when she said this. I believe you'd call it a wagging eyebrow. Very fascinating, the corresponding gesture among Exos. On to the record itself. We can see the... Oh, I don't know what that means. Mm, am I reading too much into that? Wagging eyebrows, like, you know, like a deeper meaning, you know? Uh, look, I'm, I'm literally a potato, so... <clears throat> Onto the record itself, we can see the Black Fleet deployed gravitational weaponry, which is corroborated with the other accounts, so it's collapse. 
see the Titan NPA and our own records of the whirlwind, Reese WWE. Such weapons were not described by the Nuisis account of the witnesses' attack, described archive Zai 1490. Nizoa do not see evidence of what Nuisis described happening to this elevation, slicing, annotizing, temporizing, nor do we see any serious attempts from the witness to communicate. I have reviewed everything I could access with the war mind's attempt to halt the collapse, Rasputin declared many protocols, two of which I find important here. Kariah White, a state of emergency so severe that Rasputin could seize control of the entire system's defenses. And even conscript civilian ships to serve in combat, suggested a threat of extinction. And Twilight Exigent, a situation that required a change of Rasputin's ethics, being ordinary ethical restrictions would result in the ex extinction of humanity. Rasputin needed a way to bypass these restrictions. Which you might recognize Kerr White as like a, and Twilight Exigent as like shaders. Yes, but like the terms in season 19 in the finale that were popping up in the message log. Rasputin seemed to enjoy abstruse, uh, abstruse terminology. You saw a masking intent, quite difficult to press. How do I pronounce Kare? Is it easier without mandibles? Perhaps I should start a dictionary. Easiest to ask anybody directly, as she knew most about Rasputin, but uh, I thought it might be discourteous to ask so soon after his passing. <clears throat> According to all documentation of Rasputin's defenses of soul, even with such extraordinary circumstances allowing him to act beyond his normal limits, Rasputin cannot stop the Black Fleet. <clears throat> Had the Great Machine not acted, the Black Fleet would have ground all of Sol into dust. Do we know what the Do we know what the Traveler did? Well, I know that there's the big light wave that happened at the end of season eleven. I like, cannot understand why the Black Fleet would choose to deploy gravitational weapons if they were totally unharmed by Humanity's greatest weapons. This could disassemble entire fleets with a wave of its hands. Why would they need to use such comparatively slow weaponry? They're not done in necessity, but why then? I'm still missing something. Only a third left. There's some records uh, retrieved from Ada One of the Black Armory. Black Armory papers, entry 68, continue, collapse, Black Fleet. Black Armory, uh, Mirin, Henrietta. Apparently, from what I saw in Bi um, Bisque, yeah, eh, Bice video, <coughs> this is like part of like season five stuff. Obviously, Black Army, but like the Black Army papers that were incomplete, and this is like a complete version of it. They arrived at night. Yuki woke me up. I had never seen that look on her face, that fear. The sky, she said. The sky, the sky. She couldn't say anything else. When I looked outside, I understood. Stars were going out one by one. As so a titanic veil were being drawn over them, the sky grew darker and darker, and then light. This is later what happened during humanity's earlier forays in space. We littered the low Earth orbit region with debris. Some of it had been removed, the better to facilitate interplanetary travel. So it was so much. It burned. All of it. The whole sky was aflame. Um, I ordered everyone to the bunker. The Earth heaved and cracked open in her foot. A sickly green light pervaded everything. Radio hissed static and screams. The wind hurled cars and houses like toys. Then we reached the facility. The wind had stopped. A dreadful stillness hung there. In back, I could see a great cloud in the distance. It reminded me of a sandstorm. All smoke and dust bearing down upon us with unnatural speed. I remember she had fallen behind and the cloud swallowed her. She withered down to the bone where it touched. It could have been poison or plague or Helga closed the doors. I'm not sure whether to thank her or not. Now, the black armor approached me as I was resupplying in the city. Uh, she had heard of my search for information pertaining to the witness the black fleet in the collapse. I wish to help. Although it seemed to physically pain her to part with them, uh, she offered me a sheaf of papers. They were so worn with age, I feared they were crumpled in my claws, and I held my breath when I transcribed them. She waved away my thanks and said you had found these documents for her some time ago, and to consider this a favor repaid. Which I believe we- uh, I did. Uh, you know, we did, but you know what I mean, like, I- I think- because I have blacksmith, right? So I think I had actually managed to do most things other than, like, the weird, like, side things for, like, the ghosts or, like, chips and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> but. Uh, more clues, more pieces of puzzle, fire and smoke, poisonous air, earthquakes, cyclones. Why do these things? Why the witness cause great tidal waves on Titan? If we could simply take the entire planet as it did later. Neither the Lixi nor humanity were advanced as Ecumene. Countless other fallen civilizations that could have overrun either of us without all the theatrics. Theatrics, as though all this is a mere performance. The ghost who put on masks during the festival lost and pretended to chase the children of the city. But I can't think of any other word for it. 
appears to witness that stage to show, but for the licking race and the aiming of soul, it's audience as its audience, even though we should be so far beneath its notice. Man's concerned that it shouldn't even care about what frightens us. Hey, it's a worm. That's it. The witness is not indifferent to us. It cares about what we think of its performance. No, of course it doesn't seek to delight or provoke, no. This is doing all it can to spread fear and despair among the people of Seoul, as it did the people of Rees. Presumably, season 22 cutscene, I'm guessing. Um, <clears throat> that it's like, um, they had like fear and all that stuff of the Traveler eventually, and then they tried to control it with a veil, and the Traveler left, and so I'm assuming that it's trying to like, make us all feel that way. Like, it, you know, my, the, its idea is correct, and, and to show it, we're gonna, it's gonna, like, show the suffering that it suffered upon everyone who, uh, dared to, like, have the Traveler. And then people reason it had chosen the approach that would cause the maximum possible amount of suffering, can you doing so until the very moment it went through that awful portal? <clears throat> I doubt that this is some brilliant tactical play to demoralize its enemies. It would have defeated both human and Lixie. With or without its campaign of terror, indeed, such actions appear to have drawn out its attack on soul, or a deeply inefficient use of its power. When its only goal was to corner the great machine and use to use it to further its plans, whatever those are, why bother doing anything else? Since Roman said affected the great machine in all, there's no evidence of such. In any way, the worst atrocity of the world wouldn't occurred after the great machine left us and could not see its effects. No, I believe this display of cruelty is meant for us. It's meant to maximize our torment. I cannot think of any motivation to descri describe this except malice. And you have the cut-up worm. Bridge audio recorder, Reef Kryptarchy uh, Archives, Tenhai Gia, Origin, Arc uh, Arcadia class jump ship, Golden Age, discovered partially integrated into 31, Youth Resign. No pilot was covered the ship, data heavily degraded, partial restoration successful. Collapse, Black Fleet, Darkness, Taken. One, unknown, audio preserved. Okay. This is War of Ship Engines. Come on, come on, you bolt bugger. Come on. Engine screams, sputter, cut out, alarm metal clang, rapid labored breathing. That's it then. Every last Newton I could squeeze out of this old burden, it's not enough. There it is, the darkness coming right up behind me. Where's the creaking? Huh. <laughs> Our guns, our ships are silent. God, use us, use us. And the loud metal clang. Centuries of progress, where did it get us in the end? What good are you? We're dying out of you, big stupid ball. Do something. No, no, I didn't mean it. Please don't be mad. Please don't leave us. We'd be dead anyway, right, if you weren't here, right? Please tell me I'm right. Am I lucky or not? I can't decide. They're all down there, fish-eyed, bloated, cold, and blue. I was the only one who made it off the launch pad, but now I'm up here. I'm up here in this this tin can. And see it out there, that ugly marble. It's just It's just floating there. Do something. Why you if you're not gonna help? It's your fault. It's all your fault. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Banging, banging, and weeping continues for several minutes. For gradually stopping songs, you should never have come here. Once again, I am grateful for the circumstances of my upbringing. It's not as difficult for me to enter the reef as it might be for others, and the Tekian and Reef Cryptarchies generously grant me access to their archives. There is a great deal of information preserved here that was lost everywhere else. The Yang Lue brought with it exabytes of data. <laughs> That's the size of my recording stuff, I swear. Or will be. At <laughs> the rate I go. And for the benefit of the colonists, it's sheltered. And though they had hoped uh, to escape the shadow of the Traveler, they did not wish to lose the tether to the rest of humanity. All that data survived the ship's transplantation to the distributary. Part of it was copied onto the ship's miracle, brought with it to the reef, and of that part, almost all has survived the Reese archives to this day. I know the distributary is like where the Awoken hail from, but it's like a black hole or something, right? I don't know. I must admit, almost didn't include this transcript. I am no stranger to the disturbing and the distressing. As a scribe, it is my duty to record and pass on history. Even a history written by the survivors will have its dark corners. <coughs> Nevertheless, I find this recording difficult to listen to. It echoes the bitter words I've heard countless times before from the Lick saying, who suffered the whirlwind, so the great machine leave us and curse it for abandoning us. Thanks, Aramis. When studying history, discomfort often accompanies information that is most crucial to understanding. That's what I needed, the discomfort that echo of Lixian lamentation. The witness does not need cruelty to win. No need to mutilate the great machine's creations. To inspire fear and despair, it does not even need to tempt you to use darkness, which it has claimed to be. We know from the experience of Neptune, 
Venus does not hold as complete a dominion as it wishes us to believe, considering we discovered Strand. And then apparently the Centurions just discovered Strand and use it as shields too for some reason. I still don't get that. In fact, its cruelty has actively slowed and hindered its purpose. Had the witness simply overwhelmed humanity and crushed all resistance, there would have been nobody left for the great machine to uplift. No ghosts or guardians to de defy it. I have spoken with the core array about the text humans know as unveiling. I have tried to reconcile it with how I understand the light and what I know of the great machine. My understanding is imperfect, but I have gleaned this much. The winnower speaks of convincing you that it is right of existence of truth, of predation and defection. Nowhere does it speak of malice, of hatred, or despair. It does not care whether you embrace it or curse it. Somebody desires to win, and the victory be validated. But for the witness, and victory alone is not enough. It must ruin all the great machine has touched, from the smallest creatures to the greatest planet. Destroy everything the land has built, drown hope and bitterness. The witness would have us all curse the great machine, refute its gifts, and betray it as the Black Fleet tramples us underfoot. It will make us all air mist, sick with despair, and crushing our own dreams. You see it too, do you not? The records from Simix fell, the communications from Talek Sin, those messages shut down in hope and optimism. Once, those who came before the witness saw the great machine as their hope for the future, as we did as you do. They had hope once, they lost it, and now the successor, the great merging of their selves, the witness seeks to deny that hope any right to exist. Communications log, Reef, Cryptarchy, Archives, Ten Hygieia, Core, Vex, Minotaur, Soul, Decisive, Black Garden, Free by Prince, Aldrin, Sov, Decryption, Successful. Uh, H&, so it's H&W, Final Shape, an annotated description follows, I have not seen this. As I didn't see the beginning one because I didn't watch Bife's, um, precursor videos. <clears throat> My distant friend, I hope you still have your communicator, though our last parting was acrimonious. It has been many centuries since I have last seen your message alert glimmering in the corner of my vision. Just believe you have not cut this last atomic line between us. I compose this message in secret the rest of the consensus would not understand. They do not know as you as I do did. Oh, but they could. It is in hope that I reach towards you now. My friend, the consensus is won. Yesterday the penitent voted I. The nihilists and uh, solipsists have been uh, destroyed. A oh, penitent. This group appears to be oh, the same as the merciful penitent benefit mentioned in Scribe Archive Zai 92C. So no usage of turn um, the ternary semantic clusters whatsoever throughout the text. And voted I. Uh, we will uh, exuviate and shepherd the universe to its uh, final shape. We will prune away its dead branches and coax forth its full potential. Even as I say these words, I feel those old doubts calling through my thoughts again, but it has been long and longer still since you renounced the consensus and set off into the cosmos. Is this RS or... Um, you have not seen the violence of Visitor Shores, a terrible reflection of the ancient history which you believe was behind us. Though we were steadfast in our position, we will continue to argue it. How long it might take? There were dangerous elements. Observers and uh, defectors, we did not strike first, nor did we choose a response lightly. It's been so long since I wielded pruning shears. I had forgotten how my hands uh, shook. I can only imagine how you would have looked at me, but it's over now. What has been done is done. So this is when they decided to become the witness. They were the last, and now we are all in consensus. If I wished to persuade you with words alone, I would not have told you this. You have steadfastly absorbed aboard such ministers since they were first proposed. I do not tell you this. I do not tell you this to shock or intimidate you, nor would I withhold this truth, because I do not seek to persuade you with a lie, even of a mission. I tell you this because I respect you. Of everyone I have ever known, you have been fiercest in your compassion, most keenly aware of the gap between means and ends. If you return, if you join the consensus, then I will know what cause is true. After all this time, we have finally found our abdurdic uh, truth. I will discard myself with no regrets. I do not say this to put my finger on the scale of your decision, only to inform you of the situation. After exuviation, we will no longer know the shape of your absence. What we are becoming, we will, will not be capable of doubt or dissent. It never will have been capable of such things. We will forget our pain, our strife, our petty grudges, our prejudices. No longer exist, and therefore will never have existed. Do you understand? There is not much time. <clears throat> now that we are in consensus, our progress is unhindered. 
The veil unravels before us as the fundamental principles we've long hoped for are woven in its threads. And when we have completed the process and thrown off our lesser selves, we will be perfect. So this is, I guess, right before they all, like, killed themselves to create the witness. Even so, I cannot help but nurture the seed of heresy, the grit which I hope will be subsumed by the pearl, that what we become will be lesser if it is made without you. How could perfection be lesser? If the feeling burns in my veins, so I may share with you. For instance, until finished, I do not want to forget you. H and W. So this would be, yeah, because, like, the guard, you know, they were a gardener, they had the shears and all that stuff. So RS, I guess? Changed their mind? Because RS, um, RS was like, hey, you know, the consensus is like, right, or, you know, like, we should, like, shepherd stuff, and then I guess maybe they turned around. And I'm assuming in the trailer where you have, like, that one, uh, like, Dementor-looking figure with a um, glass mirror, I'm assuming then that that's maybe RS. Or, like, you know, the person that this letter is attributed to. I did not expect to find this. I pen these notes as await my audience with America on the Reef. As there are many matters which require attention, I have searched Sean and I searched the banks for those old identification codes on a whim. I think this data was retrieved by Prince Aldrinsov. Is this what humans mean when they say they feel someone walking on their grave? Though in the prince's case, that grave is empty. Too awkward if I thank Crow for an act done in a past life. I apologize, I am rambling. And uh, two different tech geans have asked me now if I'm quite alright. Physically, I suppose I'm a little tired. This journey has taken me far, and I've set perhaps slightly less than other deal, but in truth, I feel deeply disturbed by this record. I cannot clearly interpret my own reaction. It is too visceral, overwhelming, and disgust and horror mixed with pity, and I even find myself feeling sympathy. Sympathy for someone who admits openly to murdering dissenters, for people who purposely erase their own history, so not remembering those crimes would absolve them of it, for the minds that would form the witness for those who destroyed Reese. In my homer, I am reminded of Guardians, after all. We do not blame Crow for the actions of the Prince, nor should we. When Glint brought him back in the Great Machine's light, Crow was born anew, as were accordings of all in you. Crow says, is it not grace and memory the light forgets? Just as the witness forgot. So in a way, it like embraced the light that it tried to like, that it's trying to snuff out. AKA, the witness is a hypocrite. But then I think, no, the witness did not forget. It was not reborn and not choose unreasonable grace. It exuviated in its own words, but it remembered where it came from. It chose what to forget, not to allow for new possibility, but destroy it. Self-justifying teleology. It is not just reality that the witness uh, mutilates. It has dissected and reassembled itself in its own me its own memories, its own history. The witness went from confronting the uncomfortable truth to erasing it. It is grotesque. As a scribe, as Ido, I cannot feel anything but revulsion. Interview from Throne Room, the Reef, Final Shape Witness, Myself, Queen of the Reef, Mara, Ido, Scribe of the House of Light, Ido. So, Mara, Ido. May I call I greet you in the light, Scribe Ido. She smiled when she said my name. I hope you'll forgive me in my curiosity, allow myself to pursue a bit of a tangent. So my father speaks of the time before he found me. I have much to ask him now. That's right! Mira, Miserex found Ido and we have like the lore page or whatever, right? Of like Ido crawling into his palm. Um, <clears throat> but you have come to inquire about another matter. I understand you were searching for all that you can find of the witness. The stains it has left while passing through this universe. I learned a great deal and understand very little. It's my hope that you will be able to render my conclusions clearer and more complete. Show me what you found. Some time passed. We discussed the documents I have included here as well as others. I believe redundant, only tangentially helpful. Miracle's insight is as keen as any blade. In those minutes, my understanding is multiplied. At last, she sat back and closed her eyes. Such the mind of that being, that monster, only once. I sense this purpose, not the purpose itself, but the idea of the purpose. The final shape, what it seeks to achieve... With all the tools it has gleaned over the years, this is the eternal perfect thing. Which it uses illuminating, peak, pinnacle, pyramidian. The broad base of the pyramid, focusing and sharpening as it builds towards its highest point. Self-improvement, or what it, the being believes to be self-improvement. Here, I began to realize something, something which threw me like lightning. Dissecting, reassembling, taking, merging, all those things point towards what the witness sees as its final shape. That simple destruction, the march of entropy, the ruined garden, it seeks... 
compression, and the combination of a chosen past and luminous future into a perfect forever. Sabine, that cannot be anything else because it is everything it could be. Taxidermy. Explain the practice to me. What strange hobbies Golden Age humans had? I've always quite apt. But I cannot achieve this goal, can it? Not perfectly. What it does instead is mutilation. The, its tools leave scars in reality, great ones that do not heal. It may preserve some elements, but it always botches the process. It cannot accomplish what it envisions, its true idea of the final shape, without the power, traveler's power. How it must rankle to be forced to rely upon the being it loathes. Smile without humor. The Guardian is properly grateful for this gift, Scribe Ido. I am. Thank you. Uh, you have shown them more than an opening move. You have laid bare their opponent's guiding principles. Can I help but chirp with pride? I might have felt embarrassed, but Miracle seemed amused and suddenly seriously. Last night, I had a dream. Set up straight. Began in nothing, neither light nor dark, the absence of both. Then nothing is, I began to perceive an impossible something. Stone hands clutching at the fabric of the sky. A mountain, a skewing bone, a crumbling spire choked by kudzu. A great cancerous growth and necrotic tendrils digging the flesh, which was earth. Darkness turned to gangrenous, strangling the light. I was not afraid. As I awoke, I felt the lingering warmth of the campfire, chasing the chill from my hands. Forward, though I was the one who recorded her words, I believe she was speaking to you. It is not too late. So that's like the poison, which is like Keitel's thing. See, I don't know. I know like I've heard like, oh, they're making stuff up, but like so much stuff is like connecting to like, like season 16. Keitel's like wit viewing of like the thing saying like your traveler poisoned. Yeah, it's poisoned by the witness now. So and that was Entelike. And now for dessert. All right. Now it is time for dessert. I don't know how well this is going to work. Welcome to, uh, yeah, so I fucked up. Um, I checked my, uh, phone. And I was like, oh, why is it dark? You know, oh, maybe it's just because it's been on for two and a half hours, which is technically true what happened. Um, but no, what, what basically happened is my phone ran out of battery. For some reason, I thought it'd be, like, fine to just record infinitely. I forgot things have battery. So, um... Yeah, so but thankfully the only thing that I lost is essentially just me actually messing with the tower. So I know about the secrets and I know the limits of the secrets now. So I basically put everything back to the way it was. And uh, yeah, so here's just like the sides. And then the way this works is... We hit that, and it turns it on. And then basically, there are three modes. There's light mode, and there's volume. It's essentially just playing the ambience. From So like if you were to go into D1 and just listen, It'd be a lot better quality than this, believe it or not. I'm pointing this right at the thing. Awful. All right, and then what you can do is you can put you can also swap that. So now it is in play mode. What you do is you can put this on the front here.
this one kind of hit me hard. It's Lance, basically. It's Lance saying, like, if we do not meet again, know that you have made me proud. Which, um, is very... I mean, obviously, it's picked on purpose, but rest in peace. And then I Korra. We stand behind you. Again, you're not really going to be able to hear it. Even if I put it at max, you'll barely be able to hear it. And it'll probably be like super cut apart by uh, the mic's muting. However, I had noticed uh, on the back here, or these look like panels. Especially this one. So I thought like, oh, we'll take Zavala and put... Because, you know, Zavala at the... You know, where they are... Um, in D1 is they're in like this command hub area So you put Zavala here and then this mechanically opens So mechanically there's like a lock that you can hear going do Because I was like well there well, where's Cade? And here's Cade And, and that's basically the secret. And that's Kate saying his, like, hey, take me with you line. And then I had actually also found, on my own volition, I swear, which, yeah, I did, is um, you can put two of each. Actually, let me do all that again, because it's actually better than I thought it was. Hmm. I need to set up more supply drops. Old ones are all tapped out. Got to put together a team. If we do not meet again, know how proud I am of what you have done. Hey, uh... Yeah, it's just playing uh, sound effects from the three uh, Vanguard if you stand next to them. So, but yeah, this is really cool. Um, <clears throat> and obviously, I'm not going to turn it and keep this on, but like, I really do like how you can see like the hangar and all that stuff. Which, yeah, the, the whole point about this is like, it's the tower, you know? I've been playing D2 since House of Wolves, so 2015. So it's not quite 10 years for me, but it's pretty close. You know, I still played in year one, so. See, I figured, like, you know, I didn't care so much about the other collector's editions, but I was like, this one. This one I had to get, so. But, yeah, that's basically all, all that was missed was me, like, fiddling around with stuff. And then basically also, because there's the second panel here, that's it's not a panel. Um, I thought this was also going to open. Like, I tried putting all three of them together. It doesn't work, but... And then I checked online after this, after I noticed my uh, recording had stopped. Well, you know, after I had finished this. And then later figured out that my recording had stopped. I was like, oh, okay. Um, there, there is nothing else, so... Yeah, apparently someone took, like, a screwdriver to this, and it's like, oh, okay, yeah, uh-huh. Um, but yeah. And then, yeah, there's charging ports and all that, so. So that's a lithium thing that was on, like, the the transportation box is like, be careful, there's lithium, so. 
Yeah, I think the idea is basically like most people will just leave it on this mode, which is just the lights. So. But anyways, yeah, that is, uh, that is it. So, uh, I'm going to go and edit this together. And then um, I'm going to post it. And I'm going to make sure that's done tonight because, you know, it's final shape and all that stuff, so. I did see that I couldn't redeem the code yet because the, all the servers are down. So hopefully I can redeem that code. If I can't, I mean, it's, all my, it's my own damn fault, right? Which now that I think about it, maybe I shouldn't upload the thing because I had the code in there. Oh well, please don't steal the code. But, um.